Mama, sometime last year, around the tail end of the pandemic, I was I was stuck in the house and I was doing a lot of cooking and, and watching a lot of social media. And as I was looking at social media, I was watching people cooking and posting their food on the Internet. And I, I thought that was pretty cool. I said, you know, I, I, I could do that. So I started videoing me cooking my food and putting it on the Internet. And when I did that, you know, people, they they, they started talking crazy. They they like they ain't like my food. They was like, I ain't never seen that before. And you, you lost me with this and that. And I was like, oh, man. So then after a while, I kept on doing it and being myself and people started liking it and started liking my food and leaving me good comments and my followers started going up. And next thing you know, I got this message in my social media inbox from a TV casting agency and they wanted to know if I wanted to participate in casting for a new TV show for Mr. Gordon Ramsay. And I was like, oh, man, that. I guess I could do that. So I was like, well, what I need to do? They said, well, we need to do a Zoom interview to make sure the producers, they like it, make sure they like it. I said, okay, well, let's let's do that. So I, I did the Zoom interview and they was asking me questions and, and what I like to do. I said, well, I, I like cooking at home and I like watching and cooking on social media. They said, well, that that's that's what we're looking for. We, we're looking for home cooks and social media chefs. I said, well, I like that too. So they, they went on here and gave me a plane ticket and they flew me out to Las Vegas and they told me to make sure I cover up with a shield and mask and when I got there they put me in a van with plastic and they took me over to the hotel and when I got to the hotel, I saw they had a casino and stoves, and I was like, man, I want to do all that. They was like, no, you, you can't do none of that. No stove. You got to stay in your room. And they took me on to my room. I saw my name on the door, and they said, you got to stay there until after you have your interview with the casting and producers. I said, okay. So I, I'm stuck in my room, and I'm editing my videos, and I'm looking out the window, watching people have fun at the pool, and I'm like, man, I'm stuck in this room. So I, I said, well, let me go ahead and get ready for this interview tomorrow. So I went on ahead and shut it down to get a good night's sleep. And I went on ahead and woke up the next morning and I went to the interview and I met with them and they told me, well, OK, well, you can head on back to your room and we'll let you know. So I went on back to my room and. While I was there, I decided I was going to order me some, some room service. So I, I ordered me a little salmon with rice and, and some steak. And as I was sitting there eating my food, I, I got a, I got a visitor who, who came from the casting department and they wanted to tell me they got some news for me. And I was like, what's that news? They said, well, we, we, we not going to keep you. We, we not going to put you on this, this, this season of this show. And you, you can, you can go on home now. I said, oh, okay. Well, all right, well, let me finish my meal, and they, they put me on a plane, and they sent me on back to the house, and I was I was a little sad at first, but then I said, you know what, I'm going to keep on believing and doing what I'm doing. Mama, for whatever reason, a million people start following me on Facebook, and I just want to let them know that I really do appreciate it, and even though nobody really didn't know who I was, I guess somebody was paying me some never mind. Mama, she ain't paying me no never mind.